In this video, I'm going to discuss how to do a simple two variable linear regression using Google Sheets. All right, so first thing, open the internet browser and type in Google Sheets. Okay, once you're there, go ahead and press on Google Sheets, the free online spreadsheet for personal use. And then press on go to Google Sheets for under personal. All right, if you don't have a Google account, you're gonna to need to create one to use Google Sheets. So I have a Google account, so I'll just press on it and sign in. All right, once you're in your Google Sheets, uh, go ahead and rename the spreadsheet to whatever you wanna name it. So linear regression example, okay. And then go ahead and enter your data. So I'm just gonna label mine X and Y. Though if you have more meaningful variable names, go ahead and label those appropriately. All right, um, and I also just have nonsense data. It's not anything. Uh, but if you have more meaningful data, go ahead and enter that those data. All right, um, and then once you have your data listed, you can click on your data and then kind of drag and highlight all of it, and then go to insert chart. All right, and it makes a nice little chart here. Uh, this isn't really the type of chart that I want though. Uh, so this chart editor, this is what I wanna look at. If you don't see this chart editor, um, if your chart editor is not showing up, the way you get to it is you click on the chart, you see these three little dots, click on those three little dots and press edit chart. Okay, so here's your chart editor. Okay, so there's three little dots, edit chart. That's how you get this to show up. You need this. Um, so first thing I want to do is I want to change the chart type to being a scatter plot instead of a um, line plot. Um, and you can see it suggested a scatter plot right here, so I could just press that. Okay. Uh, you could have also seen scatter listed down here as well. Okay. So once you've selected a scatter plot, um, you know, say I had another data point to include, seven and another zero. Uh, it should automatically update the chart, right? And you see this one, it did. But say it didn't, uh, edit chart, let me go to edit chart. You can always change your data range by pressing this little window and you can see what data range this is capturing. It's capturing the cell A1, which is right here, X, all the way to B8, which is down here, B8, which is this cell here. Oh, and I accidentally just pressed it and I messed it up. So let me delete it. So let me select A1 and then just kind of drag to select all the way to B8. Okay, so you can always change um, you know, the range that your data um, is represented in the scatter plot by, by just clicking this, okay? Press OK. Okay. Next thing I wanna do is add the trend line. So go to uh, Customize, then press Series, scroll down, and here we go, Trend Line. Okay, very good, so there's the trend line. That's what I want. All right, um, and then uh, what type of trend line do I want? Right now I want linear, but there's all sorts of different types of trend lines that you could have, okay? Uh, but this is a linear um, regression that I'm talking about right now, okay? Um, label, this is how I get the equation. So press on label and then press on use equation. There it is, there's the equation, very nice. Next, I need show R squared. Go ahead and do that. That tells us uh, the amount of variation in X that is explained by the variable Y, okay? And a lot of times we actually are more interested in knowing R, right? And remember R is the uh, coefficient of correlation. And so the way we would find R, given R squared, so let me go ahead and say, well, what's R? Um, it would be SQRT, so the square root, open parentheses, okay? And then let me type in this R squared value. So 0 0.658, close parentheses. So R is the square root of R squared, okay? R tells us the correlation between X and Y, okay? And it also tells us the direction of that correlation. So you know, when you square any number, you get a positive number. So R squared is always gonna be positive, 
but R should either be positive or negative depending on the direction of the correlation, okay? So remember, when you're trying to determine is a slope positive or negative, you start on the left, and then you see, do I rise or do I fall? So if I'm moving along here, I'm falling, right? If I fall, that's a negative slope. So let me double click on this cell, and let me add a negative sign. So R here is negative 0.81, right? Um, the correlation is negative. Right? It's a moderate correlation. It's not extremely strong. If it was very strong correlation, then I would expect to see these dots really close to this line. They're not super close, but they're relatively close to the line. So it's a moderate correlation, moderately negative correlation. Okay. Um, so you know, if it was, if the line went in this direction, right, um, where it rose, then I would have left it as a positive R value. Okay. So if it's a positive slope, positive R value. Negative slope, negative R value. Okay. Uh, one more thing I want to talk about is uh, this this um, linear regression line. We can use this to predict new uh, values of y for x values that are not actually observed. So uh, suppose you know, say x now is uh, 1.5, and someone wants you to predict y. So can you predict y if x were 1.5? The way we would do this is we could use this equation, negative 1.07 times x, which is 1.5, plus 7.14. Press Enter. And we can see there is a predicted y value. Okay. All right, so once you have a nice, uh, a nice graph and you have your correlation coefficient, um, you know, and now you're ready to share this with your professor or whatever, uh, but you know that you need to have this in Microsoft Excel and not in Google Sheets, right? Uh, the problem with sharing Google Sheets directly is sometimes if you don't have your sharing um, options uh, appropriate, then you know, it can be a private sheet that someone else might not be able to see. Of course, you can change that to make it a public sheet, but um, you know, if, if you want to download into Excel, it's very easy. Just press File, Download, Microsoft Excel, okay? And then Save File, okay. And now put the file into the Download folder. So if you open your folders, all right, and go to Downloads, uh, you, sh you should see this, this new um, Excel spreadsheet. If I were to open it, Okay, there we go. I would have basically exactly everything that you saw. Uh, it looks like this is a little messed up. It's kind of difficult to read it. If you click Enable Editing, should be able to move where that little box is. Yeah, make it a little easier to read. Let me move it so it's a white background. There we go. Okay, so you, you have your regression line and then you also have your R value over here still. All right, and then you, then you could save it and you could share it uh, with whoever you wanted as an Excel spreadsheet.